Hey guys, this is DG. Today we are going to learn about five limitations of firewall. So let's start. These days everyone knows that firewall keeps hackers away, but having a firewall makes us completely secure no matter how much we try. There are certain limitations that raises questions on the firewall security. The first and the foremost among the limitations of firewall is how it verifies the incoming data. Actually, our computer's operating system and firewall have a list of trusted programs and previously allowed programs. When a data packet arrives the firewall, firewall checks whether the incoming data packet belongs to an application in the list of reputed programs. If it belongs, firewall allows the data packet to pass to the computer. Hacker can easily exploit this by creating fake data packets containing trusted IP address to hack our computer or our computer network. The second limitation is insider's intrusion. Suppose you have connected your laptop to a public Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi network is connected to internet via a hardware firewall. Due to the presence of this hardware firewall, hackers from internet cannot attack the computers in this Wi-Fi network. But what if the hacker is present inside this Wi-Fi network? Hacker can easily bypass high security of this hardware firewall and can easily attack your computer if your computer is not protected by a software firewall. So, to protect your computer from insider's intrusion to some extent, you should never turn your computer's software firewall off. Now, the third one, direct internet traffic. Suppose you are installing uTorrent in your computer. During its installation, you will get a checkbox saying add an exception for uTorrent in Windows firewall. If you check that box, then Windows firewall will allow all the data coming to uTorrent from internet to your computer. In such a case, hacker can send some malicious data through uTorrent to your computer without being detected by the firewall. And with the help of that malware, hacker can obtain your personal data and can make your bank accounts empty within seconds. So, it is better not to add an exception for a software in Windows firewall unless you are sure that software provider is trusted. But still, if you add an exception, then it is mandatory to have an antivirus and anti-malware program in your computer with the help of which you can avoid downloading malwares. Fourth limitation is firewalls trust on trusted networks. Suppose your computer is connected to a network and your network is connected to another trusted network via a hardware firewall. Since network is trusted, so firewall allows all the data packets coming from that trusted network to your network. Now, what if the hacker has connected his computer to this trusted network? Firewall will allow all the infected data packets from hacker to pass to your network and then to your computer. In such a case, hacker can easily hack your computer. Last one is no protection against masquerades. A hacker can obtain employee's identity easily and can log into the network as an employee. But firewall cannot stop a hacker from such masquerading. Finally, firewalls do not provide us any anti-malware or anti-virus properties. This means we need additional protection in our computer if some harmful files have been introduced to our computer system from the networking channels like emails. If you have learned something from this video, then please like this video. Share this video so that more people can learn. Subscribe to Tech Terms if you want to learn more and turn the notification icon on. Thanks for watching.